So we've been sent a couple of new accessories from our friends over at Halo Black. This is something that I've actually had my eye on since we got the carpeted floor mats for this car, is their version of the trunk mats. So essentially this is a mat for the trunk here. You've also got your lower tray um, where you've got your storage below here, and then also your front trunk. So Tesla do sell these OEM, and I do have those. So we're gonna be able to show you what the Halo Black ones are like in comparison. But essentially, what happens is they come in a box, you get all three, so you don't have the option of buying one or the other, like you do through Tesla. You are getting all three for your car. Now, I've actually already, uh, can't really call it installed it, but I've already replaced the OEM one in the trunk here. And I'm pretty impressed. It's made out of the same material as the, um, I guess the base, that contains the carpeted floor mats inside the car. And I think where this kind of sticks out to me is an improvement over the OEM one. It's a little bit thinner, so it's a bit more pliable. And you've actually got the ability here to fold it nicely in half if you want to access the lower compartment. Whereas the stock one, you're kind of playing this silly game of having to try and fold it because it has a lip on the side. So nice surface here, it's kind of like a non-slip surface. What you don't get on here though is any type of lip. So probably not ideal if you're gonna be carting around anything that is wet or if something could potentially spill in the boot because it's not going to contain it. What you do get though as an advantage is what we've talked about which is the ability to fold this over but you can actually flip the whole mat if you would prefer to have a carpeted version. So I'm not too keen on this as the go-to, how I would leave this all the time. And it did get me kind of thinking, who would leave just a carpeted mat in the boot? Halo Baker thought about that, and there's a very clever way as to why they have designed it like this. So they've got a product here called the Trunk Organizer. Now how this works is you've got two pieces we won't put them on there because they stick really good. So essentially what they are is they are fold out dividers that you can use. So you can use them like this, you can turn them on an angle and you can actually slide them together as well. So on the top there, you can join them if you need to contain something a bit bigger. So the way that you can use these is if you wanted to split your trunk in half, what you can do is simply stick them down like this and they've got like a hook and loop and they uh, they stick on there really well like I'm pulling it with a bit of force so it's a good way to try and divide your boot if you're needing to cart things around and you don't want them rolling I think where this is quite handy for us is Glenn carts this around all the time so if I was him and I was putting this in the boot and I had nothing else in there you hit the brakes that is going to move around slide a bit in here so what you can do they stick so well eh? they stick really well you got to put a bit of force to it but you can just use these what i would do is uh you know pop one down on an angle here i would pop that in get the other one place it like that and the beauty there is you're going to drive now and that is not gonna slide around. So I think Halo Black have done a really good job. Initially looked at those and thought, oh, I don't know how I use those, but I think if you are the type of person that doesn't keep a boot full of stuff and you just have the bare bones, the essentials, what you're carting around for the day, I mean, I think if you had that in the range, you'd probably use that when you're carting something like that. Yeah, because it's annoying when you slide around, you go around a corner and all the bottles fall over. Everything and goes. And if you've got liquid bottles, then it could leak, I suppose. Yep. Key is with these though, is they are hard to remove. Like you have to really yank at them to pull them out. I guess over time that would get looser and looser, I would yeah, say. Yeah, I mean on the bottom there, so it's just hook and loop. So yeah, I, I think that that's gonna be pretty good for quite some time. I think you'd have to be continually pulling, putting them down, pulling them up for it to not work as great. But I think those are something handy that you can just keep in the boot and you know that at any time, if you need to cart something around, you can simply just flip your boot mat over and uh, use it in that fashion. So I flip that back over because that's how I would typically travel with this car. We'd leave it this way and only flip it in instances where I need to make sure something's secured in there. Now, the beauty of this, as we've said, is the existing loop in here is still accessible. So there's a little cut out there. So I can just pull this and the whole piece will now move, which means that I have access 
to the lower portion of the trunk here without needing to try and fold this. And we've got the second piece, which is our lower compartment tray. Now this one here does have a lip on it. So really handy if you are gonna have anything on there that could potentially leak, anything that is wet. And I mean, that sits in there. Fitment is great. I'm really happy with how snug that is. I think it's a nice little addition down there. And then you've got the same for the front. So again, you've got the lip. This is pretty much identical to the one for the rear boot, except it fits much better in the front here. So what you've got in the front is obviously just that plastic line. If you're putting anything in there, it is gonna slide around. So I think this is key to have if you have one of these cars and it sits nice and snug. What I typically use up front here is this would be for takeaways. It might be for wet towels if we've been to the beach. And because this is got the lip on it, you can pull it out. You can rinse that out if you need to, if it gets dirty. And the fitment of this, let me tell you, is far superior to the stock Tesla one that you can buy. So I'll grab that and I'll show you why I would buy this over the OEM one. So this is the OEM piece. Now, fairly similar. You do probably have a slightly bigger lip on here. Like if I was to compare those, it does look like the lip is a bit bigger on here, but it's actually deceiving because this flops a bit at the front. If you actually sit that inside, pretty much identical there. Same with the front. So the reason why I prefer the halo black one is that when you go and put this in, the fitment is just a bit, well, it leaves a bit to be desired, right? Like you've got these gaps where it doesn't quite fit properly. Just looks a bit janky around the edges, whereas if you put this halo black one in, the edge fitment, it's to the point where it's almost snug in there. You can see you don't have any gap around any of the corners, hence why I don't think you want the OEM one. I think you want to get the halo black. We'll go around to the back of the car as well and I'll show you the comparison between the stock OEM boot mat and the halo black one. So this is the stock, obviously it is a couple of years old so it has been beat a bit. Your key difference in this one here, I think Fitman is pretty good on this one here. So you do have the advantage of the lip. So, but what I'm seeing compared you know when you compare both of them is that the OEM one like that plastic lip looks quite what well, it's quite flimsy it is and it's, it's, a, it's not rigid you so know so like you see like even along here see how it's really wavy yeah and that looks quite ugly so over time it sort of gets all bendy floppy it just doesn't quite look as nice whereas the the halo black one the edges are rigid and i would say that they fit snugger they're going to stay like that and they just look classy yeah and i mean the benefit to this is that you do have the edge so you can put something wet on here but your benefit to this one here is that you can flip it so if you had an edge on here gone is the ability to flip it and use that matte side so i think that if i was having to buy one of these if i bought a brand new car because keeping in mind these cars do not come with floor mats they don't come with the boot tray it's pretty much like any modern car that you buy these are all accessory upsells they really should be included but they're not I'd have no hesitation in going out and purchasing the Halo Black set. I think the fitment is much, much superior. The only caveat to that is if I was constantly carting around wet items in the boot, I'd probably lean toward this one here. But keeping in mind there as well, it's not perfect, right? Like once this sits for a bit, that'll flatten off and you haven't got a perfect lip there. So yes, it might contain some water at the back. It's not at the front. So. I think if I was going out tomorrow, rebuying these, the Halo Black would definitely be the ones that I would go out and purchase. So Halo Black also sent us their windshield sunshade umbrella. Now, umbrella is interesting here because you know your typical windscreen um, covers that you use are fold out and you kind of jam them behind your visors in the car. This is literally like an umbrella. So the way that this works is you literally just peel this off, that's attached so you're not going to lose it. And it's much like an umbrella where you have a tab here that you pull. So the idea is you'd be inside your car, you would hold this up to the windscreen and you would pull this and it clips into place there. And then this sits on the front windshield. This articulates down and props up behind the screen of the car to keep it in place there. Now I've actually got this upside down because you'd hook this piece here through your rear view mirror. So we'll go inside the car, I'll show you how this works in practice. It seems like a really great idea like this, like I think that, oh yeah, perfect, this is really small, 
be really easy to just push up on the window, pull out, and you've got your visor in place. In practice, it's a little bit more finicky than that. I'll show you why if you follow me inside. All right, so hopping inside the car here, the way that you would use this, this is where it gets a little bit awkward, is that you want it as close to the windshield as you can get it. You do have this piece that you want to wrap around the visor. So you'd be hopping in, you would be attaching this at the top, so you've got something for it to hold on to. You would push this to the other side of your screen, and this is where it gets a bit difficult because you're kind of fighting with all of these wires and this plastic. Try not to scratch anything in here. You get it around, and then you would pull. You would put this on this side, lean it on your mirror here, and it's in place. So, I mean, in practice, it's going to be functional. So you are going to get that heat rejection, that sun rejection, that you typically get from a standard visor. A little bit more convenient to pull it, I think. But I think your downside to this is, number one for me, probably the look. Like, something darker would have been ideal. This might look all right on a white car, but I think with the darker grey car, black or a dark grey would have looked nice. Like, this is really in your face, this colour. But then, if you hop back in the car, as you can see, you've got all of these wires, you've got all of this plastic, which pushes up against the back of here. Even this, yep, it's rubber, but it is going to come into contact with your dash. It is resting behind the screen there. And then when you go to take it down, all of those wires down here get really close to coming into contact. In fact, these ones are coming into contact with the dashboard. There's no way to fold this without hitting anything. And as a byproduct of that, what it leaves is a mark. If you come from the driver's angle, you'll see a mark where that oh, I wish wire. I could see it, but yeah, I can see it's like a smudging. Yeah, it's like- Do you it's, want to point it out? So. It, it's rubbed it, so it's here. I think one of the frustrating things if I was to use this is that, yeah, look, these marks can wipe off. If you put a scratch on your dashboard, that's absolutely not going to wipe off. But for me, trying to get on top of the glass and get it clean and looking great is really, really challenging. And once I've got it clean, I do not want to be dealing with marks like that. I'd much prefer, I think, to use a traditional visor where I would fold it out and I would jam it in place by putting both of these visors down. I think the concept of this is good, but I think in practice, it's just a bit, um, it's a bit clumsy the way that you use it. And I'm not willing to make that trade off to have my really clean windscreen marked up on a regular basis. So for me, this is not something, unlike the trunk mat and the front mat, that I will be putting into this car and using on a regular basis. So we won from two from the products that we've been sent today. One is going in the car and staying there, the other is not. But in terms of the other products that Halo Black have previously sent us, still fantastic. I would still rebuy them today. So those products would be the cup holder insert here. I find that really handy. That comes out quite frequently and I wash it. So if we've spilt anything in there, the benefit there is it gives you those little nibs as well. So we made a video on this. That is still in the car, still really enjoying that. We've also got the organizer that we use in the, uh, the front storage area here. So again, a little rubber organizer and I find that it contains all of the different things that I want to carry around really well versus the standard Tesla piece, which is, it's not this, but it looks like this. So basically you just have one bin. So it allows me to store things a bit more organized in there. The other piece is the under, store, under seat storage bin. So this is really handy. It's in use right now. I think there might be a first aid kit in there. That is really handy. Use that all the time tucks away nicely under the seat and then obviously the floor mats there as well so very similar material to that trunk mat i really really like these floor mats they contain the dirt really well and we're in the middle of winter right now i've only cleaned them a couple of times but again they're a product that i would go out and buy tomorrow and i think if you've got a tesla model y i would go out and buy the mats for the car i would buy the mats for the boot 
and probably some of the interior accessories as well that we've just talked about depending on the amount of stuff that you want to carry around in the car. So those are our honest opinions on the new products that Halo Black have sent us. Our thanks to them for sending us those products today. Really happy with the trunk mats. Unfortunately the sun umbrella is not something that I'm going to be using. We'll stick to the old fashioned way there. If you're keen on looking at a specific video on any of the other Halo Black accessories we've talked about today, there is a separate video on the channel, so feel free to go and look at that. But otherwise, thank you for watching, and we will see you guys on the next video.